Wonder who that is. Maybe a bride to be can't wait and wants to elope. <laughs> oh, hi, Melvin. Hello, Lamar. Hello, Fred. You're home. Hello, Melvin. Have some sit down. Oh, yeah. What's the matter? I was worried about you, Fred. Lamont called me and said you weren't home, and I thought maybe you had an accident. Not yet, Melvin, in a few weeks. What? <laughs> Why don't you tell your friend Melvin, who's not married and doesn't even think about it, what you're about to do? I'd like to hear what he's got to say. Say about what? My father's getting married again. Congratulations! I think that's great! <laughs> Stay out of this, Melvin. <laughs> hey, are you really going to do it, Fred? Yeah. Who's the lucky lady? Name is Donna. Donna Harris. She's a practical nurse. Oh, they nice. Yeah, they wear those soft white shoes and have cool hands. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then if I need anything from the surgical supply store, she can get it from me at a discount. How romantic. I can see the two of y'all shopping for your honeymoon, buying rubber stockings and orthopedic shoes. <laughs> hey, but that's great, Fred. And when the time comes when you need a trust, she can get you a nice leather one. Yeah. Instead of the old elastic kind, they give it down to the clinic. Yeah, and, and if you need something, let me know. You need anything, Melvin? I don't know, I'll feel around and see. <laughs> hey, hey, Fred, are you gonna live here? I, 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 no, I think I'm gonna move and sell the place, but not right away. I wanna give Lamont enough time to find somewhere to live. Oh, so now I'm getting kicked out, huh? After I worked for you all these years, now I'm getting thrown out of the door. Uh, that ain't right, Fred. Lamar's been a good boy. Now you're gonna throw him out. Keep out of this, Melvin. Now listen, son. You wanna live here with us? With us? You mean to tell me you're bringing that woman to live in the same house that my mother lived in? To sleep in the same bedroom my mother slept in? I think that's disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting, Fred. Stay out of this, Melvin. Now, son, you know your mama's been dead for over 20 years. Yeah, and your mother been dead for over 20 years. Stay out of this, Melvin. <laughs> All I know is that you forgot about her. Well, I didn't, and I'm not gonna let you smear her memory. Smear her memory? I never did nothing to smear your mother's memory. I've been faithful to her. All I know is that you forgot about her. Yeah, you forgot about her, Fred. Please, Please stay out of this, Melvin. <laughs> well, that's another thing, Pop. Now, you know you got a plot right next to Mom's. Now, you getting married again. How's that gonna work out for later? Well. I can get a plot from a new wife, and then when I go, you can just drop me between them. I think that's disgusting. I think the whole idea is disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting, Fred. I know. Stay out of it, Melvin. Well, I'm going down to the diner, but I want you to know right now that I think the idea of you getting married again at your age is ridiculous. Shut up, Melvin. <laughs> Thank you.